What is happening, y'all? Hope everyone's having a good day. For Monday, as good as you can. <laughs> oh, what are we doing today? We are here today to spin the wheel for Gonzalo at reset. We have some armor in his chest to open once we get uh, a handful of people watching here. We got 18 now, it says. So we'll give it just a little bit of time. But how is everyone today? Update was today, in case you missed it. The big news. Lapu Lapu's image has changed. He looks like a badass now. What's up, Pro Gaming? Captain Jack Sparrow. Ani Indiger. Captain A. Appreciate y'all. Dark Yami. Yeah, I think the way I figure it, right, is is you know, if I'm if I'm garrisoning two flags, if I've got a couple of archer towers up, if I've you know, leading some rallies. This just makes for an easy KVK then. I can kinda sit back and relax and let everyone else do the heavy lifting, right? <laughs> What's up, Gosu? Oldest rock YouTuber. Okay, okay, I see how it is. I did bookmark your KVK earlier. We can go and check that out. In other news, there's a permanent red dot that is driving me crazy. Yes. 100% <clears throat> there is. So on when I, on tablet though, on tablet. Uh, the red dot in the settings takes you to a community page and you click on there it looks like uh, rise of kingdoms now has a TikTok, so that cleared the red dot for me on my tablet but it, it, i do not see that option to look at rise of kingdoms TikTok anywhere in here you click on rock community it takes you straight to facebook So yeah, permanent red dot drives me absolutely bonkers. Twenty-eight sixty have a Kingsland fight since Saturday. Ooh. Sexy. Hi, Gumbo. Uh, in the United States, I think it might be. <laughs> I know Trump was talking about that while he was president for a while, and now I guess uh, the Biden administration is also talking about that, so God only knows. It rots your friggin' brain, though, let's be honest. I have not found anything of value on TikTok that would help improve me Spiritually, physically, or mentally. Is this just back and forth during uptime and downtime? It looks like the bottom's getting pushed right now, or at least. Kind of. I got like six months to sell it to an American. Elon will buy it. Then we'll have Twitter becoming X and TikTok becoming X-Talk. Yeah, I don't know. All I get in the mail these days are political flyers and brochures and stuff. And 
phone rings constantly. Yes, this is the Republican Party of Wisconsin. Or this is a Democratic Party of uh, Wisconsin. You know? So I, I ignore most of that shit. When it comes time to vote, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, right? I go to the NRA website and see who's pro-Second Amendment, and I vote that way. You know, if we lose our Second Amendment, we'll eventually lose our First Amendment, so... Yeah, knowing that they have to sell, right? That kind of gives whoever's buying it leverage. Like if my wife said, um, you need to sell your rock account or we're getting a divorce. Whoever's buying it would have a significant amount of leverage to negotiate a price. fighting going on somewhere else that I'm just missing. Like it's the battle of uptime versus downtime. I see a whole lot going on. I would vote A for president. <laughs> Guess what? Arnold Schwarzenegger could not run for president because he's not a uh, natural born citizen. I think that's how it works anyway. Oh, very nice. Thus far, 71% think that I'll get something good from the armaments chest. Let's, let's hope that's true. If I just get one or two armaments that I can use, I'll be happy. Maybe I should set the bar higher, but, you know. After opening tons of those chests, I'm trying to be a realist here. Just get him a new birth certificate, right? Ooh, nice. Okay, I mean, green really didn't put out much resistance at all, so I don't know if this is... I don't know. It looks awfully freaking boring. Let's get into it. What's going on, Ape? Good to see you. We do four at a time. a new uh, animation there. Not good. 
purples we really do not care about. All right, where's the recycle button? There we go. I've, <laughs> we have more marches on the field than that during our low seed KVKs, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess they've been fighting in Kingsland since Saturday. Maybe that's all the all the troops that people got left. <laughs> Captain, tell your kingdom leadership to queue up with us. I already told Hubs. Hubs said he didn't care. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Let's try eight. Eight's a lucky number in, in China, right? So let's let's try eight. I mean that's not bad, but we don't need purple gear. Bad for purple. Triple stack archers. Unfortunately, it doesn't help me. All right, let's let's do eight for the arch formation. Just just kind of change it up. Uh, look at that. President Shwarma? I'm lost now. Open for V formation. We got the DVS on the on the last opening too, didn't we? All right, all right. We'll open the next one for V formation. I don't know what I have for V formation already. We'll, we'll, we'll lock down some of the all siege right yeah that's the one and only time I'm doing V formation thank you let's go back to wedge see now we get the triple stack siege on wedge formation where was that on the V formation huh it's rigged it's all rigged What's up, Paul? 
All right, let's do these two first. Then we'll do arch, then we'll do wedge again. Inside these empty broken walls, and I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious. I know that you left me alone inside this empty broken hole. That's not bad. Inflected with a control effect, 10% chance of resisting. Decent numbers, too. We'll save that. Shield. I do use um, Alex behind Luchi, so we'll save that just in case. Set more skill damage of all types, might as well just save it. Thirty-one watching, only nineteen likes. It is what it is. All right, 15 left, so we'll do, what, that's eight for Wedge. Last seven. Oops, not impressed there. Let's take a look, right? Let's take a look. Uh, where are you? No, we don't want Babur. Let's see what we got here for the V formation. None of these are siege stats, though. Take that off a of bubber though. Because I use my transmutation stones, Captain. Um, I mean, where are we here? Right? I mean, this one, it makes zero sense to... I mean, if you use one transmutation stone, right? You can do all three, but at 3.1 attack, 3.5 defense... I really want to keep those. So 
So that one we've transmutated 20 times now. <laughs> and still can't get infantry in that third slot. So that's five stones apiece. Um, this one... This one I think we've only done ten times. siege on here somewhere right so I mean again 3% defense 3.3% health I want to keep those locked down well, infantry is better than siege so we'll replace that but yeah that, that's where my transmutation stones go my friend March, well, I mean, march speed is okay, but at least it's infantry. Once we get Boudicca all done, then we can come back and do Artie, but... I think I'm in a fairly decent place. What, what hurt you? <laughs> the, the five stones currently I have a hundred good lord I wish I had a hundred although my luck is crap as you see what how many of these do I got 129 Never short for an opinion. Gumbo hit me. Just swarm it. There you go. That's that's a good answer. That's a solid answer. Jolene requires feet picks before she answers anything. I have not done that new boss in Cerola yet. It looks very intimidating. What's up, Goose? So our enemies are trying to trade T1s, but didn't want to let us farm, so they started trading with their allies. And they teleported in and just started five marching the duels. Am I wrong for this? Enemies are trying to trade T1s, but didn't want to let us farm. So they started trading with our ally. If you've got no treaty with them, just, I mean, don't hit your allies. Port in and destroy your enemies, right? I mean, if you've got no treaty with them, whereas you are not going to be aggressive towards them and they let you free farm in a zone, Allied 1960 and 1093 to kill 2429 for good. Uh oh, uh oh, look out. Well, 
but yeah, I we don't allow T1 trades here either, unless you are at like 28 million and just need to trade 2 million or so. You know, if, if there's enough fighting where people can get to 30 million kills, then there should be no reason to trade T1s. But yeah, I mean, if you've got no treaty with them, if they, you know, refuse a treaty of any kind, then fuck it, you're not doing anything wrong. You know, I just, I just, I don't know why an enemy kingdom, if they've won the KVK, and you guys are willing to say, hey, we're done fighting, we'd like to lick our wounds for the next KVK, we're not going to attack you, we're going to let you get whatever you need to get, circles, high runs, whatever, we just want to free farm and kill barbs, there's, there's nothing hurting them to make that type of an agreement, they're just being assholes. That's, a, that's an agreement I made with our allies last KV, or our enemies last KVK. You know, we were spent. They said they would clear the path for us to get whatever rewards we wanted to. They held up their end of the bargain, so I let them free farm. I let them kill barbs in, in Zone 6. They had territory in Zone 6 yet at the end of KVK. You, know, you, you never know in these low seed kingdoms who's going to be your ally, who's going to be in the same camp with you next KVK. And as quickly as people are turning around and going into KVK again, chances are your enemy might be in the same camp next KVK. And if they just don't let you farm and don't let you start to recover, it's only going to hurt them in the long run. not a fan of trading t1 kills and honestly i think lilith should make that uh that 30 million achievement where it's 30 million t4 t5s I haven't even done that new commander yet. I don't know how it works. Let's see. But honestly, I just do these on hell. I don't even I don't even do these on legend. It's not worth the aggravation. What's up, Joker? So kill point ranks for a kingdom? As long as you're not gonna come in here and poach my players. That'd be something. 50 million kills, get a coin. 100 million kills, get a coin if it's T4, T5. I wouldn't mind that at all. Because <laughs> by the time fighting is over, the last thing I want to do is chain barbs to get in the top 20 for honor. That's the very last thing I want to do. If I have time to do that, I have time to fucking sleep. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Goose. <laughs> and yes, Black Panther does try and poach people.
As far as straight kills, I don't, I don't, what did I have last KVK? Do I have the stats still? Yeah, it just shows kill points, 865, 865 million, so it doesn't have actual kills. Even more special if he didn't message you. <laughs> I don't think he likes me anymore, but it's all good. It's all good. Oh, I don't think uh, that Echo, I don't believe, I don't believe is the one with uh, range commanders max because he didn't, uh, he didn't say a word when I told him he needed to drop to 100,000 T5, T4 t T4 sieges. This echo is from uh, bringing up my spreadsheet here. No more anger in my dreams. I am tired. Uh, this one is from 1395. I don't mind the first couple weeks of, of off season, Captain. It's nice to be able to get sleep again. But yeah, we just got, what, eight, eight or nine migrants to get in yet? A couple have KVKs ending very soon. And then they'll come over, so we'll see. sitting here for what was that kvk at least there was fighting there 18 18 it wasn't 1860 or was it Chat doesn't let me scroll up anymore. 2860. Okay, I knew there was an 8, a 6, and a 0 in there somewhere. At least there was something going on there to watch. Besides Lambo farming gems. That new KVK looks interesting, but it just did. I don't know, man. I don't know. What, did I delete it already? I must have. It just seems like a lot of freaking micromanaging. Kind of looks like a cross between uh, Tides of War, Heroic Anthem. Strife of the Eight, you got six camps instead of four. And then uh, I forget what KVK format is that you can desert conquest, right? Where you can put reserve troops in a flag and send them to other flags. So I don't know. Yep, we'll get uh, 12 goldies at reset. Karak is over. Ugh. Really? Again? Uh, thank you, Kira. I don't need resources, but thank you. I'm trying to get my attention for something? Did I miss a... Did I miss a...
miss the title? I want to do Storm of Stratagems or something. Ah, Storm of Stratagems and um, Siege of Orleans. The zones in those maps are quite large. I don't know if they would favor us or not. I think Tides would be better if we had an opponent that fought us during the during the Tide where you could get that extra attack bonus, right? I didn't mind Tides. I thought it was quite fun. One of the worst maps ever. Is Storm of Stratagems like Nile? If it is, then we would be able to select allies, right? So we could uh, possibly team up with you then, Gumbo. I don't think Nile has Nile has a weird map. So I don't know, maybe we do that. But the last time we did that for a Nile KVK, the opponent didn't fight us at all. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to choose kingdoms to ally with that are complete and total dog shit, right? So we're choosing the best of the best. Kingdoms that we fought with before that we know have solid leadership. Kingdoms that uh, uh, fight. So we went into a Nile KVK thinking, hey, we're going we're gonna to have some fun. We're going to get some fights. We're going to win. And we won, but we didn't get any fights whatsoever. Not a single fucking fight. Not once. I think we were allies once with your kingdom, Gumbo, before you got there, and enemies once with your kingdom before you got there. of the Nile and Strife of the Eight. I hate Strife of the Eight. I never ever want Strife of the Eight again. 32 kingdoms in a, in a KVK is way too many for diplomacy. Way too many. I uh, know we are allies got the star last KVK. asking car I don't, I don't know Strife of the Eight is built for big kingdoms that have 24-7 uptime and lots and lots of players I don't think it's built for small kingdoms I really don't Nothing, I like to be aggressive. There's nothing I hate more than fucking backflagging. Yeah, 
I would agree with that statement. What's up, Chronico? I'm doing well. Yourself? You know, kind of like I think. Let's let's see if we can find a Siege of Orleans out there. Um, season of Conquest, right? Lost Kingdom list. I mean, to me, it just feels like these this zone on the right hand side and this zone on the left hand side of Kingsland are way too big for small kingdoms to be fighting in, to, to be, you know, doing shit in. I mean, this it, just monstrous, monstrous size. That's why I've always been scared to do Orleans in, in our kingdom. Now, I think it'd be fun as hell. It, 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 it could be fun as hell. That's the one with all the different auxiliary skills, right? And when you've got as many commanders expertise as I have, you know, I, I, I would need some help from you guys to equip all those auxiliary skills, right? When, when you're an old player and you've got absolutely pretty much everything done that's worthwhile, it, uh, it could make it for a very interesting, very fun, very exciting, very, very deadly KVK. But, what's up, 999? Um, I just, I, I don't like the size of those zones. Let's look, let's look at uh, Warriors Unbound, right? Or no, was it Storm of Stratagems you wanted to do, right? I guess the, the well, the map here isn't bad. It's probably Warriors Unbound I was thinking about with those big, big zones. I mean, the, this is weird with the rivers in the middle, but... I'll get lucky tonight with 38k gems. Unlock both Scipio and Lucci. It's quite possible. It's quite possible. I wish you best of luck. I mean, I would be scared though in stratagems if you make your own allies. Because, like I said, we're not going to pair with idiots. We're not going to pair up with. Kingdoms that don't have a strong leadership or a proven history of fighting. Yeah, I would I'd be too scared that the enemy would be like, nope, we ain't playing. Right, so it's pretty much whoever takes the gate first and drops their fort first, wins. Until you can build your ass off to get there. Nice in one respect, you don't have those fort blockades, but you know, kingdoms still find a way to do it. How about that armament seven day bundle? We'll see. We will certainly see. Where are we here? Right here? I mean, it's it's purple chest, so... I don't have a whole lot of hope for it, but, you know, we, we got 20, 20 more days of it left. We got it three times, so we'll see what happens. I did see a post, and I, I don't know how legit it is. I did see a post that had a supposed screenshot from VIP support saying they're not considering VIP 19, but they are trying to develop a system where you can trade in your extra VIP points for rewards. I, I, I would really like VIP 19. 
Now that you have armaments, now that you have inscriptions, transmutation stones, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you could put into VIP 19 that would give value to those players. You can't take for granted your safety with us. Let's just see exactly how many VIP points we have. Um, bum, bum, bum. We have 8.28 million VIP points in the bag. 8.28 million. Right, but I mean, you're not going to get players spending their VIP points if they think VIP 19 is eventually a thing. <clears throat> you know, I mean, I'm not going to trade 100,000 VIP points for an hour of fucking speed ups or something stupid like that. they're ever going to hit their minimum threshold unless they um, keep the players in the game. I mean, every week there's a new jumper project and it's like, it seems like every week there are players starting over. You know, and I don't quite understand that myself, but Right, no, I I understand, Crow. I understand, but at the same time, they've been teasing us with it for a year and a half now. I mean, what's what's their minimum threshold? Let me see the numbers. How many people are VIP 18? How many accounts are there in this game? Advertising for cryptocurrency, please. I appreciate your subscription to be able to type in the chat, but at the same time, yeah, let's uh, let's not do that. would be this year or next. I'll believe it when I see it. I didn't ban the guy. I gave him a five-minute timeout, but... I mean, I guess, you know you're doing well on YouTube when, when the porno bots start coming into your chat or when, I guess, now the crypto bots, huh?
Henry Ash. Um, I use I use Ash Henry myself in uh, Arco Osiris. Um, I prefer I prefer ZL Ash if you own the field, or Ash ZL if you don't. Just the AOE damage you get from ZL in a rally. People trying to swarm it, or people reinforcing a flag or a structure, or open fielding near you, it's priceless, man. Want the Persian civilization for archers and Mongolian? Or Huns for Kaz? That would be nice. Yeah, I mean, if for starters, you don't send an archer rally if you don't control the field. You know, that's my philosophy, right? Because it doesn't matter what archers you send, that that rally is going to get swarmed down if you don't own the field. But I, I like ZL Ash myself. It worked really, really well last KVK for me. Why it worked better than Ash Ash ZL for me, I don't know. It just did. I mean, you pretty much got to own the field if you're rallying with archers, period. You know, unless, because uh, we don't send a rally if we're not going to take the flag. We don't generally send a rally just to send a rally. You know, if we don't own the field and we have no chance to burn the flag, there's, there's, there's no point in rallying it. What's up, Rick? Wish they would make Edward viable again. So MF used to always win Call to Arms, or, or what is that one with the with the ten different skills that you select? He would use Edward and YSG, and he, he would crush it every single time. Some people are using Herman in rallies. Oh, good God! Why? I mean, the only use, reason I use Ash Henry in KVK or in uh, in uh, in Arc is because I want ZL on the field. I want him, him and Henry in the middle for those Arc fights. Okay, let's let's get off of Flash's Discord. It's way too active. I keep seeing the screen move and um, looking over there. Plenty of rallies or Nevsky Joan. I mean, sometimes if that's all they got, that's all they got, right? But, yeah, I... I Nevsky Justin is the other rally that I typically use in Arco Osiris. That's what I'm thinking as well, Crow. I want to get at least one engineering march just, just to play around with it. Just to have a little bit of fun, do something different. Uh, what KVK is this? This, I believe, is uh, 20, 2860. Apparently, they've been fighting in Kingsland now here for since Saturday. So just... Uh, it's either watch me farm gems or watch a little bit of fighting here and there. Top versus bottom, as I understand it. Do 
Yeah, our last arc was nice. I wish I wish they would have stayed. I wish they would have fought because um Where are we here? Standings? No. One of these is standings now. There we go. I mean, they they're in a KVK. I get it. I wish they would have stayed and fought though. Because we haven't had enough players playing Ark of Osiris for once that people were putting garrisons inside the rallies. <laughs> you know, we weren't just rallying to disrupt the enemy points in their structure. We were rallying to try and hold that structure and gain some points from it ourselves. But as soon as we won the first Ark in the middle, they, uh, they bailed. The enemy bailed. Exactly, hey, exactly. I have, I cannot tell you how many times I have clicked up here. <clears throat> it's like pink is basically free burning here getting free burnt they've got a they've got a nice long arm up into this section but again that's on fire Exactly, Lev. On, on on my tablet, it takes me right to the community page, and it puts a little red dot on the TikTok. But there's there's no community, right? There's no. I mean, am I missing something here? I have been through every single one of these at least a dozen times today. the approval request deal approval report I don't understand that I did it I did it on my tablet and it's not gone. It's not gone on the PC. Migration's going well. We still got about eight or nine people to come in. A couple in KVK on what is it, the twenty eighth, so this Thursday. So hopefully this weekend we'll we'll get the rest of our folks in here and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Uh, yesterday we zeroed a player who had a billion of each resource so our migrants got some nice and I had a marker up too right new players only loot so our newer players got some nice juicy resources from that yesterday if I don't hear back from another player in the next day or so we will be um, zeroing another player. We'll try and do that live on stream because it's a 115 million power player. What's up, Sam? Okay, that's right. That's right. The little pop-up in the corner. else from Smash Squad but a couple nice nice players coming in yet. Is that the guy who maxes tech but never fights? Yes sir. Sir, we sent him a message on what was it, Saturday morning? Basically said, uh, what are your plans for your account? You don't seem to be that active. K 
Can't you have a 115 million power player that's inactive counting against matchmaking? Please respond. Well, I mean, we, we do that on purpose, right? We, we wait to zero players until our, many of our new migrants are here and they can take advantage of this situation. You know, as soon as as soon as as soon as the dude was out of troops, I I left. <laughs> I mean, I I don't need the resources, right? But there there was. You can see all this gray territory down here, right? This was a resource seller alliance, twenty nine lowercase pk. This was a resource seller alliance, and we did not have R five there, so they were contacted. And, you know, resource sellers were needed more when MF was here, when Reaper was here. Um, so they were contacted. We asked them to give up R5 of the Alliance. And the guy said, basically, you know, just because so we can have control. I mean, they don't cause trouble. But, you know, we'd like the Alliance to be able to use Alliance forts and KVK if need be. Or, or just to track down rogue players who might join them. Whatever. <coughs> You know, so we asked for R5, and the guy basically said, uh, no, he quit He quit playing. He's moving to another kingdom. He's taking all of his players with him. So, you know, all, all of the accounts, all these 29 PK accounts are loaded with resources. But because I am a nice guy... I told hubs let's let's give them seven days any 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 cities that are left there after seven days just fucking take their resources <laughs> I think let's 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 find a couple let's scout a couple I think many of them are off the map now. They're in the cloud. But I, I don't know. Hub shared some reports the other day. And uh, they, they were loaded. They were loaded on resources, so... He wanted to zero them the other day, and I said, no, no, let's just get our five of the Alliance so we have control over it and call it a day. So if they want to come in here and they want to make farm accounts to bring to another kingdom, that's fine. They'll dump their resources on us then. But I guess the R5 of that Alliance said, no, I'm, I'm done playing. I quit the game. So he deleted his uh, AFs. So I have, I have 10 farm accounts. So these, these four, this one down here, I'm letting it go to the cloud. Um, this is the other one I have in the main alliance. So I can do one plus one forts. I have one in hashtag PK as an R4. One in LPK as an R4. And then on two other email addresses, I have Two 20 million farms, five six farms on two two email addresses, so three on each. But um, I'm only on two of those. The other four, I'm letting those go to the cloud as well. I can resurrect them if I need to gather resources, but currently I'm okay. It, it was more like 500 to 700 million on each of those each of those small. 29 pk and it at the most they're you know three million three million power cities so you know, six six and a half days from now i'll just uh tell hubs and the rest of the players just go zero and take their resources better for us to get them than for them to go to the cloud and nobody gets them
I mean, if the guy's quitting, I don't understand why he didn't just give us our five of the Alliance and just leave everything the way it was, but oh well, it is what it is. It's not like those players can teleport out of this zone at all. What's up, Dracul? Twenty nine minutes till we can spin the wheel. Let me let me get a few farmers out here. Find some more jemmies. You know, you bring new players into the kingdom and those level two gem nodes are not as abundant as they used to be. Yes, during those interviews, I sh as I say that, there's three on the screen in the same area. During those interviews, I need to make it clear, level two gem nodes are Lambos. Yes, I'm kidding. And I know I could do this more efficiently. I could send out more more T1 sieges with the march and go from gem node to gem node to gem node, but that takes way too much focus. That's way too much effort. we can end that poll we um did not do as good opening arm and chest as i hoped we would we got a few we could save but nothing nothing to put to immediate use which was disappointing i should know by now that's uh, probably not a bundle to be buying in the future I mean, I used, uh, what, 3 billion of each last KVK, 5 billion of each the KVK before, 5 billion of each the KVK before that. So it's not like, not like I don't use it. It's just, you know, with, with 10 farms, you have time to recover. It'll, it'll disappear really quickly the faster and faster we begin going into these KVKs, you know. With uh, more season coins in KVKs now, more blueprints in KVKs now, we're going to want to go into those faster and faster with less time in between. So that's why we need to get our remaining 8 to 10 migrants in here. Get them farming, get them looting some of these cities. So that we can start popping KVK, KVK, KVK. When was the last time you checked your rewards center? Uh, last week. Armaments is gambling? No, you got better odds gambling. What's your poll idea, Gumbo? We're right on the border, Car. Um, if we get all the people in who committed to coming here, we will be a very low CC kingdom. I, I mean, I just, I would prefer to grow the kingdom slowly over time than just open the floodgates and bring in a bunch of people. Um, I really, it, it, the successful formula for us has been doing a voice interview for each and every person that comes to the kingdom. A couple of reasons, right? One, 
It scares people away that are not serious about migrating here. Two, it ensures that everyone coming here knows exactly what they're getting into. They know the rules before they come here. Three, it gives me a chance to, you know, basically talk to the people and get a good feel, a good vibe for them. I mean, I've been doing interviews at work in management positions for years, so I think I, I, I have a good feeling about people. I'm a good judge of character. You know, I just, uh, I've seen so many kingdoms that just kind of open the floodgates, look only at a person's stats, and then have issues with people that migrate in. You know, the, it, it's hard as hell to tell people no. It really, really is. But at the end of the day, you know, I understand that yeah, I'm a YouTube streamer. You know, whether I have 2,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers, there are people that are, that are going to want to come here just because of that. And those are not necessarily the people that I want here. You know, I want people that want to come, that want to be aggressive in battles, that like to swarm everything, that like to fight like we do, that like to play hard and have fun with a small group of people. I've just, uh, I've seen too many kingdoms that just, everybody come, and then at the end of the day, it, it, it's, it's rest in peace. Well, the problem with, the, the problem with armaments, right, is, is you've got three archer stats, three infantry stats, three cavalry stats, then you've got, what, three barbarian stats, you've got three siege stats, you've got... I mean, the siege stats and the barbarian stats really impact the odds of getting the exact stat you want. It's just ridiculous. Then I need a streamer in my kingdom, please, anyone. I don't know. Ask 2268 if they've got a streamer to spare. They've got, what, 17 now in their kingdom? Uh, yeah, the gold gathering stats too, right? Yeah, there's, there's just as many garbage attributes that you can get on an armament as there are good attributes that you can get on an armament. So... The odds are not ever in your favor. Hey, appreciate the raid, Drakis. Thank you very much. kind of sitting here chilling out watching this kvk not a whole lot of fighting going on but um and then at uh reset we'll be spinning the wheel but uh welcome to everyone coming over from another stream appreciate that very much put forceful on your gorgo The, this is uh, this is the um, these are the armaments that I'll put on Gorgo if I need to use Gorgo. So we got invincible, destructive, vengeful, guardians, and counterattack. Right now on Gorgo, since I mean we're not in KVK, I'm really not using her. This this is what's on her, just leftover stuff. I like sentries though, right? But which one is sentries on? Okay, we got sentries and more flames here. Whereas it's invincible, so I mean what do you go with? Do you go with the legendary or do you go with the 
the garrison stat. Emblem. What do you mean by emblem? Sorry, Fabio. Don't quite understand. Hotspot says, to be honest, I'd want to come to the kingdom just because you have honest leadership with common sense. Yep, exactly. I mean, 90% of the members here are like that. And, and you know, I try to, I, I, you know, honestly, I would prefer not to be R5. I would prefer to be spending my time learning how to edit videos, trying to grow my YouTube channel a little bit, you know have something to do then in 10 12 years when i retire <clears throat> but uh you know it, it is what it is but if i'm going to be in a leadership position you're you're darn right i'm going to lead by example i'm not going to i'm not going to tell people to drop their sieges down to 100,000 uh t4 t5 sieges if if i'm not setting the example myself you know, I'm not going to ask people not to train troops on their farms if, if I'm going to be training troops on my farms, you know. Helldivers is a game. Helldivers is a game that I might get. It looks fun. My problem with first-person shooter or third-person shooter games is I'm a keyboard and mouse player. I cannot play those games on controller whatsoever. You know, I've been playing keyboard and mouse since uh, Quake 1. Every time I've ever tried to play Call of Duty or another first-person shooter using a controller, it frustrates the hell out of me. Even with the aim assist they have, it still frustrates the hell out of me. So I got 8, 9, 10, 12 year old kids laughing at me. Ah, you suck, old man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but my problem these days with mouse and keyboard is the older you get. I mean, I've been a desk job typing on a PC years and years. So I have carpal tunnel starting to develop in my left hand. Um, I would probably say whenever I'm sitting at a keyboard, you know, I've got a compression glove on my left hand. And to leave my, leave my hand on the WASD keys for an extended period of time, it, uh, it, my fingers will literally lock in position after a while and I, will need a good two hours to recover. Um, yeah, I mean, before, so, you know, my history, right? I, I started playing games on a Commodore 64 way back in the late 80s, back when I was 15 and 85, 86. Um, I ran a bulletin board service on a 300 baud modem, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo. you know, modem over the phone line um, for probably probably two years. You know, then came Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. Uh, I had the Sega CD. I had the Sega 32X. You know, then then you kind of get married. <laughs> got a computer shortly after we got married. Got in heavily into the online or the PC game Crimson Skies. It was a, a not a flight simulator, but you did dogfights, multiplayer dogfights. It was fun. Um, I got ranked number six in the world in that at one point in time. Uh, then I kind of moved into first-person shooters, played America's Army, Battlefield 2, and um, uh, what was it? Oh, it was not it was not Starlands League. Um, I forget what what the league was. You know, this was all before organized esports. You had the online leagues that you participated in, where you 
would go in and you would they would match you up against other teams and you would fight other teams and then you would record your scores in there you got nothing for it you know no monetary value no nothing no sponsorships or anything like that but America's Army I think we got up to third or fourth in the world in the close quarters combat maps um, Battlefield 2 we did quite well in uh, we had a, uh, a clan, we called them clans the, in, back in the day, right? It was uh, the Taz clan, Team Alpha Zulu. It was fun. It was fun. But then, you know, you, you got, I mean, you know how PCs are, right? You got to keep up with those upgrades. You know, a new game comes out, you got to buy a new graphics card. You got to buy more memory. You got to upgrade your CPU. Um, and I, I just could not keep up with those upgrades. Once you have kids, you know, diapers, formula, that type of thing, you become a priority. So there was probably a good a good 15 years there that uh, I really didn't do any PC gaming. So the first game I got back into was, was Clash of Clans. And then it was Rise of Kingdoms. And then I bought a PC so I could play Rise of Kingdoms. <clears throat> And, you know, now I play all kinds of games again. Battlefield 2 was freaking awesome. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot now, but when you had 32 players on a map at once, that was huge back in the day. You know, and that, and that game was fun. You know, we, we were an organized squad. We would have our engineers. We would have our anti-tank players. We would have our support players. And we that, that was a fun game. I really enjoyed that game. America's Army, too. It was a different game because, you know, you there was no respawning. Right? You would have to go in and be tactical and be methodical and move through the map to accomplish your objectives. And when you were dead, you were dead. You know, that's kind of why I, why Warzone appealed to me as well. Because, you know, when you were dead, you were dead. But there are just too many hackers in Warzone. Yeah, these days, these days they make PC games to a point where you don't have to have the latest and greatest to play them. You know, I've been running on the same motherboard and the same CPU for three years now. But I, I mean, I can feel this PC starting to get slower and slower and slower, but that's probably just... Honestly, probably I just need to reinstall Windows. Just wipe everything clean and reinstall Windows. My CPU right now is my bottleneck. The 10900K cannot keep up with the 4070 Ti. <clears throat> For the life of me, I can't remember the league we played in. I know Crimson Skies, it was this, called the Starlance League. <clears throat> or Combat Zone was the other one. I'm sure as soon as I shut down the stream for the night, it'll come to me what league we played Battlefield 2 in America's Army in. So, I mean, that, that was back before eSports. And now it's a multi-million dollar, billion dollar business even. That's still a perfectly capable PC, right?
Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice when the kids get older and they get their jobs and they're adults and you can make them start buying their own clothes. <laughs> you know, or they start moving out of the house, you have a little bit more money to, to, to spend on things that you want to spend on. But yeah, I mean, if that's, if that's running the games that you want to play... Yeah, I mean you don't need to run 4K if you don't if 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 you don't want if you don't want to, right? I mean, what do I, I got a 10900K processor? It's 10 cores. Got the 4070Ti. I forget how many gigs of RAM I have. CPU Z here. Give it a second. So 10900K. It's running at. Uh, it's overclocked at five megahertz. Liquid cooling. Got 64 gigabytes of DDR4. 4070 Ti. Got a, what is it, a, a 500 gigabyte NVMe uh, for Windows, uh, one terabyte MDME for Rise of Kingdoms and OBS, all the images, OBS loads, so on and so forth. And I've got a six terabyte SSD uh, for all my other games. Yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping. I, I. I don't know if Josh Jacobs is an upgrade over Aaron Jones, but we'll see. I guess. You know, Aaron Jones was a classy guy. He always, almost always said the right thing. Whereas Josh Jacobs, I think days after he was signed by the Packers, he was ripping on the Raiders. Um, I saw something flash up on my phone yesterday or the day before that he was in a, a dirt biking accident now. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, he's younger than Jones is. I get it. I get it. He's a bigger back than Jones was. I think if Jacobs and A.J. Dillon can... can be a, a double threat bruising backfield we'll see um, you know the safety they got Xavier something or other from the Giants right I heard they're going after Micah Hyde they're trying to bring Micah Hyde from Buffalo back to Green Bay as well I mean they they need uh, Hopefully this defensive coordinator can can get a get a defense that likes to pressure the quarterback, that likes to be aggressive, plays more man coverage. You know, when you got one of the best corners in the league, Jair Alexander, that, that's playing zone coverage, it seems silly to me. I mean, he can cover Justin Jefferson one on one, man up all day long. But yet we're dropping him in his zone coverage consistently. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. We'll see. It's a super young offense. I mean, if if they can keep that offense together, I mean, both tight ends were rookies last year. You know, they had uh, one, two, what is it, three, three second-year wide receivers. If if Christian Watson and his doctors have figured out the whole hamstring deal. And he can stay healthy for the entire year. That gives him a legitimate deep threat in every single game. I'm very optimistic for the next few years. I do not watch the NBA. Um, you know, growing up in Wisconsin, the Bucks were just never any good. You 
know, it was like watching a train wreck every single game. I mean, yeah, yeah, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was here in the early 70s, but I was, that's when I was two or three or four years old, right? So, I mean, the Bucks I remember growing up, it was like Jack Sigma, <laughs> you know? And they, they were just garbage, and I, I, I don't know. I just never got into basketball. You know, I watch the Badgers when they make the uh, when they make the uh, NCAA tournament, but much like Badger football, um, the only reason I really watch them is uh, to see see how they're going to lay an egg this year. <laughs> and the basketball team sure as hell did that in their first game. Never been a college fan. The Badger football team while I was growing up was absolute trash. And I would I would go to games quite often. I'm living in Madison. Go to games quite often because tickets were readily available. Stands were maybe half full. You know, then Barry Alvarez came and they started winning and all of a sudden everybody's a Badgers fan. That just is not something I wanted to be associated with, the the bandwagon jumpers. But I've always been a Packers fan, because the Packers... You got got diehard fans there. Win or lose, you got diehard fans there. Now, some of these kids, some of these younger kids, like my son, who's 26, 27, 26, he'll be 27 in August, they've been spoiled. You know, they've had, what, Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers for the majority of their life. They've had a winning team for the majority of their life. You know, they have an 8-8 eight eight season. They're, they're all freaking out. You know, because they're used, they're used to winning. But you, know, you live through the 70s, you live through the 80s with the Green Bay Packers, and... <laughs> You're just happy if you beat the Bears twice. That's a good year, in my opinion. All right, it is reset. It is time to spin the wheel for Gonzalo, Gonzago, Gun, yeah whatever his name is, right? Gonzalo. Let's just uh, get all our shit first. One. One. Thank you. One freaking Suleiman. I have a question though, right? Because okay, you got I just got those two free ones completed for for buildings and for research, right? Why is it? Why is it I don't get this for free every day too? Every single commander I have is level sixty. How am I supposed to use a tome of knowledge if every commander I have is level sixty? This should be free on a daily basis also. Just my issue <clears throat> all right days <laughs> starting off good not so good I spoke too soon there's an eight nine ten eleven. 12, 13, 14. Fifteen. Uh well, okay, we can use fifteen hour speed ups. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. See we don't fuck around when we spin the wheel. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 25 plus 530 
plus 10, 40, I guess. We'll take it, right? We'll take it. Yeah, we, we don't draw this out like some content creators and let the wheel spin and talk for 10 minutes in between each five spin. No, uh-uh. Uh -uh. Yeah, we get our shit done. All right, we are at 5511. What is this? Siege defense bonus. Counterattack damage reduction. Normal range. Okay, so we probably want to unlock both of these now. 5515 wouldn't be bad. Which uh, which armaments are you looking for? Happy. That's my first archer march there. Cavalry march. Uh, infantry arch formation. Second archer march. Infantry wedge formation. Um, third archer march. Not so great. Got some work to do. Um, echelon formation. Haven't really done much here. <laughs> Don't use this except in Canyon. This is the second cavalry march. Jury duty. Oh, no. They obviously don't drug test you in jury duty, huh? This is a uh, second infantry arch formation. This is the third cavalry march. This is a uh, cavalry arch formation. Is just all shit that I've opened. It's not uh, anything I'm actively working on. Archer arch formation again. Just throwing stuff on here. <clears throat> um, this is another infantry wedge formation. So we're doing all right. Oh, I guess I have uh, stuff on Cyrus. Do we have something else we can drop on him just to fill it out? Guess not. Um, yeah, we, I'm sure you don't want to see the gathering stuff. I think that's pretty much it. I even smoked right before hoping to get excused. <laughs> oh, man. I've gotten the letter for jury duty several times, but they always have you call that Monday morning. And every single time it's been like, oh, sorry, a settlement was made, jury duty's canceled. Oh, cow cow. Okay. Where are you, CC? Um, 5% from the attributes. There's another 2.5% there. Another 2.5% there. So we've got, uh, what, 10% total march speed?
Yeah, Happy and I were racing yesterday from the middle of the where the Ark of Osiris spawns to um, one of the outposts, and, and yeah, I won. So even with T5s, it's pretty quick. Yeah, T1s. I mean, this this is <laughs> like fucking speed racer. Like, like, like the stream. Yes, please. If you haven't done so yet, please like the stream. Subscription greatly helps as well. Let's see where we're at. Because at 3,000, remember, we're giving away an Electro King. Profile picture. So let's just see where we are at. If I can do my YouTube studio here. Two thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight. So we are twelve away from three thousand. Do like I did, Cheech. Tat your whole body, even face and head. <laughs> they will send you home immediately. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> well, we'll do. We'll do a face reveal at ten thousand subscribers. So. get there eventually one of these days Too many barbs because um, it's Barbarian Day and I don't have a spot in MG. I gotta stay below 5 million total points. Otherwise, I have to zero myself. So that's it. Let's do our five and be done with it. I guess we can do dispatches, right? And traveling. He's up that AP. for Lucci or we're looking for ZL. Yeah, nothing. All right, traveling. Hey, we haven't seen Ramsey's in here in a while. Let's see what he gives us. Ooh, cutscene. Garbage. The, the double inscription armaments that I've gotten have always come out of traveling or dispatches. It has not been released from open chests at all, which is kind of crazy. Where 
Where does it tell you? In here, right? Somewhere in here. Of the next 78, you are guaranteed to receive an armament with the rare or, okay, I think we got one today, didn't we? What about arch formation? Hundred and twenty-nine. So yeah, we got a ways to go. Okay, sunset attack done. Get some farmers out. There's some gold. Stone. Then we've got wood. Yeah, I'd like to get these dailies done as soon as possible because I'm working to try and get <clears throat> the YSG emoji. Um, where are you? Where are you, buddy? I want this one unlocked. So I have found that if I don't do get those apples right away, half the time the first commander that I see appearing in here is YSG and then he won't appear again for freaking weeks. Why so many passports? So that I have options. Options are good. I don't anticipate things falling apart in 1029, but well, there may be a day where I get a bug up my ass to go and play in an Imperium KVK, and that allows me enough choices to migrate out and play in one and then come right back. There, there are KVKs when you or Zenith the Power, right? When you get low on speed ups, and and that uh, that new world bundle provides a very nice amount of speed ups. Ten uh, percent, nope, five. Kings Road, okay. Queen of Sicily, is that Matilda? No. By the newspaper, not do the damn Lucerne scrolls, but hey, Archer Attack, 1%, we'll take that. <clears throat> no, 
every month I get the $5 and the $10 New World Bundle because that's the good value. It's one passport then for five bucks. Once you get up to the $20 bundle, then you only get three passports. So, um, you know, we just stop there. We get the five and the 10 every month and just good to, good to, good to have options. I think I can migrate four times. What's up, Dan? I forget which command is yours here. It's either Dirty Dan, or just Dan, or just Dirty. We'll figure it out. There we go. You're just Dirty. guys don't know Dirty Dan, Dirty's got a channel as well. I'm still trying to talk him into doing the shots again. Saturday night, Dirty Shots with Dirty Dan. That was a fun stream. But I think, uh, I think it took two or three years off of his life. Or his liver anyway. I think that's about all we can do for today, though. Uh, we spun the wheel. We got 40, 40 heads for this dude, Gonzalo. Got a couple of goldies in there. Our gold head count is now at 994. That will give us some options when the new cavalry commanders finally do come out. Uh, it is MGE. We have to watch our points. I am not in this MGE. <laughs> My liver. <laughs> yep, we have others that still need those uh, archer commanders or still need to unlock commanders to get that 499 bundle, so... I do not need Lapu Lapu bad enough to include myself in that top 15 there. Good stuff. Okay. Chronico, thank you. We can remove that marker. But I think that's going to be it for today. We'll be back tomorrow to spin the wheel again for more Gonzago. Let us see who is out there streaming currently. Uh, we have got Jake the Dog streaming some wizard game. We have got Beast Slef streaming Call of Dragons. And it never fails. Lefty seems to always be streaming when I'm getting done with mine. So we're going to raid Lefty again tonight. Hashtag Lambo raid when you get there. I don't know. I think the new... I think... I think the next uh, cavalry commander will probably be garrison. One garrison and one open field. And quite honestly, I mean, I've got great equipment. It's not leveled up though. I've got some really nice armaments, but there are others with better cavalry equipment than me because I'm focused on my archers and my infantry garrison. So, yeah, I will probably be not taking a high spot in the MGE, but we'll, we'll definitely get the open field guy expertise as quickly as possible. Uh, that said, it is bedtime. So we'll get you over to Lefty. When you get to Lefty, hashtag Lambo Raid. Be sure and drop a like and subscribe to his stream if you're not already subscribed to him. Dirty Dan's link was in chat just a few moments ago as well. If you're not subscribed to Dan, head on over there. Click that subscribe button. 
Maybe, maybe one day I'll convince him to do another Dirty Shots stream. Thanks everyone for jumping on today, for hanging out, for keeping me occupied, keeping me busy. Without you, this game would be much more boring during the off season. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.